Alright, thanks for coming back and watching a new iPhone notes video. I'm going to show you these two apps today that do pretty much the same thing if my camera will focus. One, as you see on the left here, is called iFog, and one on the right is called iSteam. We're going to go into iSteam first and show you um, what, what this one can do. This one is the simpler of the two apps because it only offers you the Steam application where you can play with the Steam and then a place where you can choose a background. So we'll go in here and choose a background just to show you. And once that loads up, you're now drawing on your background or wiping the steam off of it. And you can hear those little sound effects. And also, if you want more steam, all you do is take this and blow it to the microphone, which is on the right side, this side right here, and you get more steam. And I wanted to do that to show you this little feature right here that See the condensation? It is. Uh, it follows the accelerometer, which is a pretty cool feature, I think. And then, um, if you double tap on this again, you can say "Show your friends," and then from there you can email what you just drew to one of your friends. And I won't tap type anybody's email address in, so it won't give it away. And we'll go back to the main menu and show you iFog iFog is my favorite because it offers more uh, options and things to do with the things that you draw. So here's the, the stock background which of course can be changed. We're going to check out this eye over here where it says information first. It has uh, four buttons where you can visit their website, read instructions, uh, watch a video tutorial, or leave them feedback and tell them what they think about the app. And then of course over here are your options, which what I really like. I keep drawing on the things. This is what I like. This is what makes iFog my favorite. You can email, of course, just like an iSteam, or these extra options, which I like. You can save it to work out later if you're drawing something really good, I guess. A camera, where if you tap on camera, you can see you can take a picture. We won't take a picture because it froze the app last time for some reason. Go back to that. Uh, you can choose from photos that you have on your camera roll, or Let's do that. You can choose from backgrounds they have built in just by flicking through them like this to draw on, which is like a pretty cool feature that Ice Team doesn't have. And that's the end of those. Of course, this is what it did to me last time. Froze like that. We'll go back into it. Here's the intro screen, which is a little uh, instructional screen. We'll type tap on that again and then here's my favorite part you can choose brush size from small medium and large and then of course just as the other app to use this you blow into it and then you have this looking dense fog on your screen and then draw it it makes squeaky sounds too just like the other one This one doesn't have any uh, condensation that drips down or anything. It's just like that. So that pretty much wraps it up. I do um, prefer iFog over iSteam, but I couldn't see myself as keeping these apps for much longer on my iPhone. But I just wanted to show you the two, kind of like a versus iFog versus iSteam. So thanks for watching. Um, hopefully we'll see you soon.